Hey guys. So I've opened the first feeling and I'm gonna eat this and try this on camera. It's the cranberry honey note granola bar. So I chose something that I feel like might be my least favorite just to kind of get that first taste out of the way. I know that's probably a weird way to think, but let's try it. I'm really nervous. I just woke up. Today is actually currently February 10th and it's just been wild. Honestly, a wild <laughs> beginning of February. Wild, it was wild. It's pretty much the middle of February pretty soon. So it's just like, it's just been wild. It's been wild, the ups and the downs of this crazy thing we call a weight loss journey. Like my channel is not just a weight loss channel. Like we've all discovered this. It's like a weight gain. Like let's be real. It's a really wild ride for sure. A lot has been going on and it's just, it's been a lot and it's been weighing very much on me. Like weighing like 553.4 LBs. Your girl is big. And that's just 100% honesty. Oh, by the way, if you guys hear a loud noise, the fan is on right now. It's kind of hot in here. And I'm just being honest. So, let's get into it. So, a few days ago, I got super sick. Like, you guys have no idea. I have a really bad cough. So bad. Wheezing. Nose is stuffy. Sluggish. Can't breathe. Head hurts. In this roundabout area. Still sluggish, chest pain, lack of energy, headaches, like just every two and a half hours. I was literally gagging. I'm gonna be real. Like I literally almost puked. And that's not an exaggeration, just disgusting. Ugh! Really miserable. And um, on top of that, I'm a wreck, an absolute wreck. If you can tell, my eyes are puffy. I have done some extreme crying recently a lot just too many tears to handle and before assumptions are made no it has nothing to do with my health it has nothing to do with me physically like not me It took every ounce of me to finish that. I, I really need to vomit. So, <sighs> yeah, that's awesome. Okay, y'all, I got all of my feelings set and ready to go. I'm either, cause these will not fit in the cabinet. So I have them in these containers, by the way, three of them. Um, I'm thinking about setting them on the counter but if it takes up too much space which our counter is pretty big which i'm grateful for if it takes up too much space we have a pretty big dining room and i'll just set it on i don't know like a table in the corner <laughs> i'll figure it out but yeah i think the packaging is so flipping cute like it's so colorful and stuff but yeah and becky and i are going out to her sister's today, so I'm already gonna be having temptation staring at me right in the face. So, I am going to be packing four more feelings just in case we get home late, so we'll see. So, we just got back from hanging out at Becky's sister's. There was pizza, and everyone was sitting around with their hot dogs and their chips and their this and their that, and I'm just like, it looked good, but everyone's taste buds are different. With this program, Optiva, Optivia, 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 Optivia. Gotta learn how to pronounce it still. 
<laughs> I noticed that I didn't feel as compelled to have a piece because I knew I couldn't. In the past, everything else I've ever done, counting calories or Weight Watchers, I was able to have pizza, even if I was eating healthy, I would still convince myself that a piece was okay. This time, it didn't even happen. I have done extensive research on this program. True research. Optivia is very low sodium. Everything that I ate from the program, I like. It's so good. Everything I had was great. I enjoyed all the tastes. It's healthy and it's nutritional and it's low carb, high protein, the right amount of fiber, you know, things like that. It's a very great program. The food is not junk food. It has essentials in the food. It has vitamins, good probiotics. It's all really good food, like good for you food. How I'm feeling is like really good. Mentally, physically, I felt incredible. Physically, I felt so good. My mind and my brain was like, it's like a fog was lifted and it felt really good. I wasn't hungry at all. I felt satisfied and every time it was time to eat again, I was like, I wasn't even hungry. I'm not hungry. I wasn't hungry at all. I'm not even hungry. I haven't had any cravings. I didn't have that urge to binge. I didn't have the cravings. I just felt really, really good. I don't think that there is a time that I have done a program or a weight loss journey diet situation where I felt as good as I did. And that's just 100% honesty. But, 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 I have officially decided not to do Optivia. Because I got to thinking, a person my size, you're gonna die. Is this even worth it? Like, why am I doing up to be a, like, this was the worst idea I've ever came up with. So I was trying to find tons of excuses to quit. I'm gonna be honest, I was trying to find every excuse to quit because I'm so just like mental, like let's be real. Obviously mentally something's wrong with me. So I found one. I was like, how many calories am I eating in a day doing this program? So I logged everything into my fitness pal from day one and day two and it was only about 900 calories. I wish more than anything I would have known that prior to doing the program. I was terrified about the amount of calories I was consuming. As you guys know, for me, like having 800 to 900 calories is scary and bad for my body. So I got a little freaked out. I thought 800 to 900 calories is not sustainable for someone my weight, someone, you know, my size. And if I was to ever try eating more than that, I would gain weight. It would mess up with my, it would mess up my metabolism. And I just don't think I'm ready for that low of calorie. My doctor, she told me from a doctor's standpoint, she told me just, it's just too low of calorie for you or for anybody to sustain in their life. It does suck. I don't know. I'm just glad my doctor kind of was like, no, it's not good. It's not good for your metabolism. So I'm gonna stop doing Optivia and I am just going to, you know, eat less and eat healthy. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Why am I doing Optivia? Like, this was the worst idea I've ever came up with. So I messaged my health coach and I told her, I don't think I can do this anymore. My health coach, she blocked me. I ended up having brown rice that night. So, so I woke up today and I weighed in at 50.6. So that's a 0.6 weight gain. 
and I know exactly what it is. I was retaining a lot of water from brown rice. I drink a lot of water. Um. I was holding on to it. It was just like a mess. It's all just like a mess. <laughs> I know it's probably confusing why I decided not to do Optivia, it's just, I just know that for me, I am like more so worried about me finding what works for me. you guys know that I am ending this video and I'm gonna do more consistent weight updates I think that's really important that's important and just kind of be more there on my YouTube because I haven't really been there haven't really been uploading much and I want to be a little bit more consistent I just I need to get more out of my head and just word vomit so yeah I wanted to end this video I will start uploading more um, just let me know I don't know uh, tweet me or something Instagram me whatever and just kind of let me know what's some more footage that you guys want to see from me what kind of content what kind of videos so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this weird video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>